Insider. It's Lucas, and it's week four, and this is my video to talk about what's uh, happening in my Super Better Challenge. Um, well, I'm trying not to eat sugar. Uh, initially, my challenge was to do 30 days with no sugar, and then switch to only eating sugar on Sundays. Um, so last week was the first week of April, therefore it was the first week where I did uh, know that I was going to get to eat sugar on Sunday, which was two days ago now, and Sunday happened to be Easter. Uh, so interestingly, uh, that worked out well for me because I love Easter and I love candy, and so I was able to um, kind of have a lot of candy on that day. Um, I'm just going to show you. This is uh, one of the Easter baskets I made for, you can sort of see the reflection, there we go. Made an Easter basket for uh, myself and Jenny, um, and there's lots of there's a quarter pound peanut butter cup in there, and I have some Canadian candy that I've been saving for my sugar days, and some chocolate bunny rabbits, and some Cadbury uh, eggs. Anyway, it was sort of a extravaganza of sugar, and um, I felt really sick by the end of the day. Actually, <laughs> really kind of buzzed, and the next day I think I had what I would call a sugar hangover. So. Um, then yesterday I did not eat sugar and that's kind of hard because, uh, doing it and then not doing it the next day, I think that's probably always going to trip me up a little bit. I mean, I didn't, I didn't give in and eat sugar or anything, but it just, I think I might be a little bit crankier on that day. Um, and so I end up using, well, I go to the Super Better site and I do, um, I have some favorite power-ups like uh, drinking water to distract myself um, or going for a walk, taking the dog out. That would be the dog right there. Um, and I don't know, I haven't spent enough time setting up bad guys. Uh, mostly the biggest bad guy that I have to battle all the time is when there's free candy around or um, sugary snacks, cakes, cookies, stuff like that. Um, so that one I, I still fight regularly. And I guess I'm keeping motivated by just knowing that I feel really good when I'm not eating sugar a lot. Um, like by the end of the week, I'm pretty impressed with myself. I'm really happy that I'm not um, kind of giving in to urges to eat crappy sugary food all the time that ultimately doesn't make me feel good. So I'm pretty good at motivating myself just with that, just with knowing that in the long run, I'm going to feel better. Um, but yeah, it's still, it's still kind of hard. Um, right behind me, there's a Easter basket up on the ceiling. See that? That's the Easter basket. It's hiding up there um, so that Jenny can have the Easter candy throughout the week um, that I will not be having. And that's like the hard, that's the hardest part is when you aren't doing something that other people are doing. Um, but generally, I find that I'm very happy with uh, how the Super Better is keeping me going. Um, we had a coaching chat last week, and I got to meet some other people who are playing, and that was really nice. And uh, I've written a couple of blog posts. And so that's keeping, keeping me going. Having to do this every week or so will also help. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to having a few more weeks of the Sundays only under my belt so that I know that I can do it more than once. <laughs> and that last week wasn't a fluke. So wish me luck.